Hi everyone, how you doing? So that song there was Some Might Say by Oasis, which is a brilliant song to play. So again, it's one of the easy ones, so it's pretty much the same strumming pattern throughout the whole song. It just changes a wee bit, uh, but it's pretty much just the same the whole way through the song. So to get started, so you don't need a capo for this one. And to get started for the intro and the verse, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our D major chord. And we're just going to do this strumming pattern here. Okay, so all we were doing there was just from the fourth string down, you're just going to do down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that's all you were doing there for D major. So down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then for the next chord, we're going to go on to our B minor. So if you've never played a B minor chord before, you're just going to get your first finger to bar from the 5th string down on the 2nd fret you're going to get your middle finger on the 2nd string on the 3rd fret your 3rd finger on the 4th string on the 4th fret and then your pinky on the 3rd string in the 4th fret and that's your B minor chord there and what to make sure when you're playing this chord because it's a bar chord you want to make sure you can hear all the strings that you're playing so try and make sure you don't get any sounds there okay if you've never played it before it will be quite difficult to start off with uh, so just keep working on it the more you work on it the better you're going to get at it so don't worry if you can't get it straight away it will come together in time so you just want to make sure you get that clean sounds when you're playing the chord there and you're just going to strum from the fifth string down right okay? so the sixth strumming pattern that we're going to do for this one is just the exact same that we've done for D major so from the fifth string down down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up and that's what we've got for our B minor chord so down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up next chord we're going to go on to G major and with that chord you're going to hit all six strings and this time it's, just a wee, it's going to be a wee bit different uh, from this bit on. So you're just going to be doing down, 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 up, down. And then straight on to D major where you're going to do up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so you're going to do the same strumming pattern as you do with the D major and the B major, uh, the B minor, sorry. Uh, you're just going to change chords halfway through, okay. So you've got G major, down, down. Down, up, down, then on to D major, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're on to A major, where we're just going to do down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that's your intro in your verse there. So when he starts off with that, he's going to just be doing that four times all together. Okay, so once you've done the strumming pattern for the A major chord, you're going to go straight back to the beginning and play the exact same thing on our three times and that's you for your intro in your verse there. So we'll just do one quick wee run through just with the chords and the strumming pattern there. So we'll, just, we'll go over it just once from the D major through to the A major and then we'll go over the rest of the song. So one, two, three. So it's your intro and your verse there. So all together you're going to be doing that four times. Then after the fourth time, we're going to go into our E minor 7 chord. Right, so it's just your normal E minor chord, okay? So the way you can play it is just your first finger, fifth string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, third finger, second string, third fret, and then your pinky on the first string in the third fret. And you just hit all six strings for this one. Right, the strumming pattern, we're just going to be doing down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, so down, 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 up, down, up. Oh, sorry. Down, 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 up, down, up. Yeah, I was right the first time. Right, 
So that's what the strumming pattern that we're going to be doing over E minor 7 there. So down, 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 up, down, up. And then straight on to G major for the exact same strumming pattern again. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then we're going to go on to D major for the same strumming pattern. But this time we're just going to be doing it twice over the D major chord. So we get down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And then once we've done that, we're going to go back on to E minor 7. Or down, 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 up, down, up. And then the next chord, we're going to go on to C add 9. Okay, so all that is, if you play your G major chord, all you're going to do is just move your first finger and your middle finger down one string. So your middle finger is going to be on the fifth string in the third fret, and your first finger is going to be on the fourth string on the second fret. And you strum from the fifth string down for this one. So make sure you don't hear the sixth string. What I do to block out some of the strings is just with my thumb, I'll just gently touch the sixth string so there's no pressure on it at all. So as soon as you hit it, it's blocked out straight away. So if you do hit it, along with the rest of the strings, it's completely drowned out there, okay? So that's your C add 9 chord, and we're just going to be doing down, 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 up, down, up. And then once we've done that, we're just going to move our first finger and our middle finger back up one string to the G major chord. And we're going to do the same strumming pattern twice over G major. Down, 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 up, down. that's that bit there okay so we'll go back to the beginning of that part there starting off with the E minor 7 and then we'll play that just once over uh, just doing this the strumming pattern and then we'll cover the rest of the song for you okay so we're just going to start off with E minor 7 so one two three four Once we've done that, we're going to go straight into the chorus. So we're going to go back to our D major chord. And what we're going to do is the same strumming for all the chords in this bit the whole way through. So it's just going to be down, down, up. Okay, so for D major, we get down, down, up. And then we're straight on to G major. Down, down, up. E minor 7, down, down, up. And then back to G major, down, down, up. And then once we've done that, we're going to go back to D major and we're going to repeat the whole thing again. Same chord progression, same strumming pattern. And you're going to be doing that eight times all together. Okay, so we'll just be... there okay so what we'll do is we'll do a quick run through just from the very beginning of the song so we're just going to do the intro and the verse just once uh, and then we'll cover the pre-chorus and then the chorus and then we'll cover the next part of the song after that okay so we'll just do a quick run through uh, just once over so again you can get used to the chord, prog chord progression and the strumming pattern as well okay so from the very beginning of the song we're going to start off with our D major chord so one two
Okay, so that's what we've covered so far in the song. Okay, so the next bit, just right after that, we're going to be playing an F sharp major bar chord. Okay, so with that, you're going to get your first finger and you're going to bar all six strings on the second fret. Now, once we've got that, we're going to get our middle finger on the third string on the third fret. Your third finger is going to be on the fifth string on the fourth fret and then your pinky on the 4th string on the 4th fret and again when you're playing that you want to make sure you can hear all the notes absolutely perfectly when you're doing that chord there okay so again it'll be difficult if this is the first time you're playing a bar chord to start off with it will be a bit difficult but just keep on working at it and you'll have it mastered in absolutely no time okay so once you've got your F sharp major you're going to be doing down, 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 up, down, up and then we're going to move down one fret, keeping the same chord shape to F major. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then on to C, add nine. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then on to A major. Down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, so again, it is from the beginning at the F sharp major chord. So we've got down, 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 up, down, up. Down to F major, down, 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 up, down, up. Then on to C add 9, down, 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 up, down, up. Then A major, down, 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 up, down, up. And that is all of some might say. So once you've done that, you're going to go straight back in uh, and you're going to do the intro and the verse again. The only difference this time is when you're doing the intro and the verse, you're going to be doing it three times over. The rest of the song is going to be the exact same until he gets to the chords for the chorus where he just kind of plays that out until the song eventually ends. And that is all of some might say there. So again, I'll play that from the very beginning for you all the way through to the end, which we just got to there. We'll play it the right amount of times uh, so you can get used to the strumming patterns and the chord progressions for you as well. So we'll play it. Uh, the intro and the verse four times and then straight into the pre-chorus and then the chorus and then so on from there just so you can have a quick run through and get used to the chord progressions and the strumming pattern okay so you start off with the d major and then uh, just keep working on it even once you've finished watching this video just keep on working on it until you can get used to it all it just becomes absolutely natural to you and then have a wee practice at it just without the video as well have a wee practice at it yourself so one two three Four.
And there you go, that is Some Might Say by Oasis. So I'll let you get on and have a practice with that in your own time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to be kept up to date with more videos that I'm going to have coming up, just remember to hit that subscribe button. Uh, you'll be kept up to date with more lessons that I'm going to have coming up. And if you can leave a like and a comment on the video as well, that would be a huge help. Thank you. And I'll be getting working on some more songs and have some more videos up soon. So I'll see you later on. Bye.